guys. Today, it's my first video. Today, we're going to be converting this all-wheel drive drift car. As you can see, as I spin the wheels, all four spin. We're going to be converting it to front wheel, I mean, to rear wheel drive. Okay, first, there's going to be this little motor right here. I don't know why they didn't just use a servo, but there's going to be this motor. And you take it out, obviously. Uh, and then you want to take, there's going to be two things, two screws right here. You're going to take those out. And it just slides right out. Okay. There's going to be this little drive shaft thingy. You don't need to worry about that. Just keep that there. And then there's going to be four screws on the sides right here. Because even if, if you take that drive shaft out, yes, it still is rear wheel drive, but the front wheels are locked together because there's, there's a, there's a, like, almost kind of like solid axle differential type thing in here, and it's solid, as you can see. Whenever I turn one wheel, another wheel spins, it's solid, so whenever you turn, it's not going to turn right. So... Need to take this, take these four screws out, like so. I'm gonna be gentle so you don't strip anything. And I don't know about you guys, but my RC drift car, it is really hard. It is really hard to take this out. I'm probably gonna have to take this off camera. Ugh. You just gotta finesse it. It's really hard to do this. Go pry it open. Don't do it too hard. You just need to pry it open. Careful. No, you don't. Just pry it open. Make sure I got all the screws out. Moving. Okay, they should all be out now. I'll be right with you guys, but you just gotta take this off. Okay, guys. After a little bit of finesse, and me almost thinking I was breaking it, this is what you should see. You should see this, like, it's not like proper diff, but it's almost like, you got this thing right here that connects to this drive shaft right here, and it connects and it spins. So you can see, and then, You got this thing right here. It's a solid metal axle with these almost like uh, washer type things, these sleeves. And then they will try to slide out. They are pre looped. So that means that the company already looped them. That's really nice quality. Uh, these are plastic, but this is a metal shaft right here. And then you basically just take that out. So the wheels are not locked to each other, so whenever you steer it actually works. And then this is like the steering thing right here. So that's basically it, but it is, I honestly, I prefer it to be all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive because it, I it, it's not powerful enough to keep it going, but... That's just me. 
So, I'm going to have to take this out. You keep it, in this case you want to go back. You should probably clean it. Mine's pretty dirty because I haven't cleaned it. So, basically all you want to do is just leave that there because that, that, that just, that won't matter. This little, this little gear right here. And then, basically just line it, the steering up and all that. And then, you're basically done. You just got to put it back together. Just keep this on the side in case you want to change it back to all-wheel drive or for, uh, four-wheel drive. And then, these are metal, these little, like, housing things are metal right here. It's really cool, actually. But basically, you just take this shaft out. That's all you gotta do. Just take this out, and then I keep the drive shaft in there. You don't have to. You can just take it out, but I keep it in there so it's easier to repair back again when I wanna make it a wheel drive again. So it's basically it. I'm going to put it back together, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Put it back together. And then, this is the only two parts you should have. You should have uh, this drive shaft with this uh, like gear thing, and this sleeve, and this sleeve right here. You should have out all together. And then you should take out this, because it's rotational mass. And when it spins, it gets heavier and all that. So take this drive shaft out, that can, this is the main drive shaft, that connects the rear wheels to the front wheels, the main motor's in the back. So that's where the main motor is. So this is what you should have. You should connect the car back. I didn't screw it all together, but you should connect it back. And then, after you do that, all you gotta do is take this motor right here. Don't know why they didn't use a server like before. Stick it in, and then you're done. And it should turn on its own axis. It should not be connected. There should not be no solid movement. It should be on its own axis. So basically, that's it. Uh, I do think uh, you should lube up this part right here. It's the steering case thing. There's a bunch of gears in there. You should probably lube that up so it steers faster. That's just my personal opinion. I already did that. Basically, that's it. And then now I just gotta assemble all this together, and then I'm gonna show you how it drives. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now time to drive the car. I personally like it with all wheel drive, but now this is how it drives. It's more realistic. My battery's about to die, so it's clearly better and it just died. But as you can see, that was a little taste of what it would do. I personally like it with uh, uh, all wheel or all wheel or four wheel drive, but that's just me. Uh, it is also a Fast and the Furious car made by Jada Toys. So uh, that's just a tutorial. If you just take that main black drive shaft out, this one right here, it will not be right. Like you won't, it won't be right. It will still have problems. Like it will go super slow, and it will, it won't steer and drift at all, or it will do spin outs. But like that's it. It's not very fun to drive unless you just like seeing the car do donuts. But if you like actually like drifting this car, make sure you take the the front axle, like, it's, it's solid. Now it's on its own rotation. There you go, guys. That was just a quick tutorial just to show you how to do that. Because I uh, just wanted to make this video. And hope you guys have a great day.